Hey YouTube, Tom itself here. There's been a lot of news recently about these server changes coming to PC, Xbox One, and PS4, but I thought I'd let you know how things were going over here in 360 land. I had taken a bit of a break in May, but I was excited to get back to some Battlefield 4 this June, and so today I played, I think it was nine games. And in three of those games, my console froze up completely, requiring a hard reset in order to get things working again. And it doesn't look like I'm the only one with that problem. Here is the first instance on Lankang Dam, and it's going to happen right about now. And you'll see in this game, there were a total of 40 players, uh, 20 on each team, in a game that should be 12 on 12. So I'm taking it that a lot of other players uh, got kicked out too, and the server just kept going. The next two instances happened on Dawnbreaker. I played four games of Dawnbreaker. Now, I know Dawnbreaker has been a problem off on 360, and I think PS3 on Conquest at least, a consistent problem, but it hasn't been as much of an issue on Rush, especially after they fixed uh, the loading issues with one of the earlier patches. What's somewhat interesting here is that the problem doesn't seem to happen at all on the first base. It's the second, third, or maybe the fourth, I don't know. But not on the first base. Things seem to go fairly well for everybody. And again, you'll see everybody finishes this game. We only have a couple players more than we needed to fill out the game. And this one goes fine because we win by defending the first base. The next game on Dawnbreaker, we're playing offense this time, and we make it to the third base. I'm playing around with the LAV, uh, we'll trying to get to the BM comm, and I freeze again. When I look at the battle log report, I see there weren't nearly 40 players, but they still had a few extra players that probably got disconnected during the game. I took a break, and when I came back, I got into the very end of a game on Flood Zone, which leads into Dawnbreaker. So I'm playing Dawnbreaker again. This guy is doing all sorts of work. He's 42 and 13. Now, I don't get disconnected from this game. I finish it just fine, but I pull this next life isn't very long, and so I get to check the scoreboard again. And when I come back, that guy who was going 42 kills, uh, he and most of his team are gone. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe they left. But the concerning thing is that they don't show up in the battle log report. And so battle log just hasn't counted them in this game. They don't show up. Their kills don't show up. And so what I'd seen previously where, you know, I, it didn't show me that many people had disconnected. Uh, now this guy who'd been in the game long enough to get 42 kills, uh, suddenly he doesn't show up in the log. Really? How many people otherwise were playing the game and got disconnected and didn't show up in those other logs? That's pretty ridiculous. Now if those slots that just opened up on the server get filled in by more people and people keep crashing out, how many people is a single server going to go through that join and crash in a single game? Uh, is 40 people in a 24 player server, is that normal? Is it mostly just Dawnbreaker? I mean, I think so because it seems to be just this area around the second and third base of Dawnbreaker. What about Lion King Dam? Is that dam crashing down? Is that what triggers it? Yeah, I don't know, but this is clearly unacceptable. And here is the third freeze, the second one for me on Dawnbreaker. You know, I don't want to talk about this too much, but DICE needs to fix it. Uh, if they can't fix it, they need to take these maps out of the rotation. It's really that simple. It looks like it's time to put Battlefield away and wait for another update in a couple weeks or months or, or whatever. Uh, once they patch it, I'll go ahead and try playing it again and see how things go. Anyway guys, uh, here's the battle log scoreboard from the final game. You can see what do we have, 15 on each side. Anyway, that's just an update on how things stand in Battlefield on the 360. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.